everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm introducing a new vlog, very exciting. I haven't done a vlog, like a book vlog in quite a long time. I'm hoping to read some more Dark Academia because I really like the setting. It's what I kind of aspire to, which is probably a bit toxic, but never mind. I love education, I love learning, I love pretty architecture, so I want to read about those things as well. So this might become a series, we'll see, I don't know. Whenever I say this will be a series, it never becomes a series so maybe it won't be a series it will just be a one-off we shall see the book i'd like to read in this vlog is the atlas six by olivia lake i don't really know much about this book other than there seems to be many magical elements in it also i think the sequel or is it the third book i can't remember in the series is coming out soon as well so that would be nice to kind of read this in preparation for the next book to come out also i love this cover it's very pretty beautiful knowledge is carnage apparently what does that mean i don't know i'm gonna find out i'm very excited the text is quite small hopefully that won't hinder me too much but we shall see so thank you for joining me i'm not sure how long this vlog's gonna span hopefully not like weeks and weeks and weeks hopefully i'm gonna finish it soon come with me for the ride Hello, I've just finished the first paragraph. The thing is, you know with most people, they're like, try chapter challenge, blah blah blah, let's read a chapter and then update you. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'm too lazy for that, you know, I need a chapter, no. I read a paragraph, I get the gist of it, I like it or I don't like it. First of all, well, there are a few things that I find interesting in the first paragraph. First of all, the writing yes very nice very nice um it's very descriptive which i love i love descriptive language i love fluffy language and this is what this is so far so that's good the second thing the library of alexandria um is already mentioned in the first paragraph and i used to find this very interesting when i was in sixth form the library of alexandria had all these contained so much knowledge do you know what i mean um and then it was set on fire and destroyed so I used to find that very interesting and think, oh, what would we know now if that didn't burn down, if that wasn't destroyed? I guess we're going to find out. Well, no, we're not going to find out. We'll never know. But I'm interested to see where it's going to go. So yeah, interesting so far. Hello. Hello. I've read a bit more of the book. I've taken the dust jacket off. I always take dust jackets off when I'm reading hardbacks unless I'm trying to get a vibe for a video. This lighting is awful. So I've got a few thoughts shall we say on the book. I've read about how many pages am I in? 79 pages in. We've met all the main characters of what I'm aware of and we've kind of spent a lot of time meeting the characters and getting the set up. They've just visited, it's not really the library but the society grounds. I'm not going to spoil too much but basically these magicians are initiated into a magical society, the Alexandrian society. And I have a few feelings. The first feeling is that these characters I hate. They're so... If I met these people in real life, I would think, wow, I, you're really annoying, I do not like you, please leave, go away, thank you very much. There's one exception which is Raina. Rena, 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 let's call the whole thing off. Can we just appreciate this awful lighting and how it looks like I have a moustache? Anyway, the characters are so vain, the characters are so full of themselves, the characters are so one dimensional and boring. Oh, there we go, it's all out there. 
the second thing it's such a shame because I really wanted to like this book but the second thing is it's extremely pretentious it feels like the author's trying so hard to write in this style and I'm like it doesn't feel like it's working it feels like it's fake it feels false it feels forced all the good F words. <laughs> it just doesn't feel like it's working yet. I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna hopefully finish it because I want it to work. I want to finish it and think, you know what, that wasn't so bad. Oh, it's just annoying. You know when you've got an anticipated book and it doesn't live up to your expectations? <sighs> it's frustrating. That's just, just lighting is so bad. Right, there we go. That lighting's a bit better. You can see how red my face is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna carry on reading it. You can see my double chin in this angle. I'm gonna carry on reading it and see how I get on. <laughs> oh, you know, I watch some of these dark academia vlogs and people are so like pretty. They wear nice clothes and there's me with my red face and big cheek. Big cheek energy. Let's make that a thing. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that now and see you on the other side. It's quite high actually, I hadn't Hi, how are you doing? I'm about, well, that way through the book. Third, nearly half. This feels like it's dragging on quite a little bit. My main concern at present is the lack of the library. So, I, when we think of the Alexandrian library, the library of Alexandria, we think of a library. That's so obvious. Is that not obvious? Uh, that's obvious, isn't it? Don't let me condescend you. We haven't gone into the library. We haven't gone into the library and... Why? 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 It's the Alexandrian Society. Also, okay, here's a funny thing. It's called the Alexandrian Society when it's set in London. It could be set anywhere though, it's just set in a mansion for convenience. So there we are, that's how I feel at the moment. The characters are a little bit less annoying now, but still a bit irritating. You know that when you're reading, it is a multiple perspective book. And sometimes you read someone, you read someone's perspective and you're like, I'm bored of this, I want to move on to the next person's now. With this, you don't really like any of them. You just dislike some of them more than others. I like Raina, she's the one I like. The rest of them, I'm like, oh no, not them again, not them again. Callum is the absolute worst, he's disgusting, I hate him, just leave, thank you. So I have an idea DNF'd it because I spent money on it and I can't DNF books that I spent money on. It's just a thing, I don't know if it's my upbringing, but if you've worked hard and you pay for something, then you use it. No matter what, if it brings you pain. 
it's a really healthy mentality to have. The other thing that I don't understand is what they're doing. Like, why are they there? What's the point? I don't understand. Like, what's the main goal? I guess that's kind of the intrigue at the moment, is like, maybe the library will appear. Maybe why they're there will make more sense. But the way it's going so far, I doubt it will, to be honest. Oh, and here's another thing. You're not allowed any people in the mansion where they're staying and the Alexandrian library, which doesn't seem to exist. Um, and the security is awful there, blah, 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 whatever. So how come one of the characters, when they fall asleep, if they even fall asleep, there's someone who appears in their brain? Or are they there? Please, can you offer more explanation? Because what is going on? I don't get it. And there's people raving about this book, saying, oh, it's so clever. No, it's not. Please, leave me alone. So I'm hoping it gets a bit better. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit boring at the moment. Another thing I really like about this book is how there's one sentence of dialogue and then two paragraphs of backstory. That's really good. That's really, really enjoyable. Not. Have you seen the Borat film? Not. <sighs> so yeah, that's my update. I went on a swing yesterday, so that was quite fun until I started spinning around and felt sick. So I hope you enjoyed that content. Let, let's continue. Let's read some more. It's been a very long time since I filmed. The reason for that is because I don't want to film this. I'm glad I didn't pay full price for this experience. My main gripe with this book, um, okay, maybe not my main gripe. One of them is that it's really boring. I was sitting through it like, oh, when's it going to end? When's it going to end? Because it's the same thing over and over again. What this book is, is six people sitting in a nice building reading and being pretentious and talking about a load of rubbish that's what this is they wear nice clothes where's the development oh mm, mm. this feels like a tomb it, is it tomb no not tomb it feels like a tomb but i meant to say tome this book i think i could have written this book if, oh, I hate when people are like, I could have written this. <laughs> I couldn't have written this because I was too lazy. But maybe I could have written it in sick form. Because in sick form is when I discovered philosophy. And it's when I started reading about philosophy. And I thought I was a very clever person. And I thought I knew all the facts, all the opinions, all the science. Um, when really I didn't. And I was just a bit stupid. This is what this book feels like. There are so many things in this where it's trying to be clever and it's just wrong. The science is very dodgy. My favourite quote, although I'm paraphrasing, I'm studying psychology at the moment so this is why it was my favourite. Intelligent people react quicker to things. What does that mean? What does that mean? First of all, oh, you're opening so many hecking cans of worms. What is intelligence? What does that mean? Nobody knows. Well, people think they know what it means and they make arguments about what intelligence means, but we don't have a common consensus on what intelligence means. What is reacting? Emotionally reacting, physically reacting. And last of all, what is things? What, what, that can be anything. 
What does that even mean? Reacting to a person, reacting to a kind of stimuli, just like having an emotional reaction that you're not even aware of. The subconscious, it can be an infinite amount of things. That sentence doesn't make sense. I'm glad I'm not studying a physical science because if I was, or if I were, if I was, if I was, I think that's right. You can tell I don't study English. I would be even angrier with this situation. Here's the second part. Is it second? Is it third? I don't know where I'm up to. The characters. O-M-G. They are so dull. They are so unlikable. I don't mind unlikable characters when the author is trying to tell me something. I don't mind a protagonist who is unlikable. I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily. But when all the characters are just so unrelatable and so egotistical and so stupid, it's very annoying. As you can tell, I don't really like it. Which is a shame because I wanted to like it and I wanted to read the sequel. But as you can probably gather, I'm not going to do that. So yeah, very disappointing. Uh, I don't really have that much else to say at the current time because I've kind of forgotten most of what happens in the book, to be honest. Um, it's very forgettable. Oh, wait, no, there's one thing, one more thing I want to talk about. And that is the Alexandrian Library, which this whole book centres around. It's called the Alexandrian Society or something like that. Where's the library? They don't go to the library. The library is not in the book. It's just talked about in the book and they don't go to the library. The library is the most exciting part of the whole Alexandrian society. And does she even think, hmm, maybe we should go into the library and talk about how beautiful it is? No. What? My baby hair is gone skew with. I can't speak anymore. I'm just so upset. So yeah, I, a big disappointment. I'm going to keep it anyway so I can say I've read it and put it on my shelf. Because, I mean, it's a hardback. I like hardback sitting on my shelf. Very nice. It's a sense of achievement, it being on my shelf, you know. But yeah, disappointing. A disappointing start to my dark academia reading career. But there we go. Yeah, sorry to leave it on a downer, but, you know, I can't help how I feel. If you liked it, fair enough. But I don't want to be mean. But I just thought it was kind of dumb. There we go. There's my opinion. Come at me. Okay, thanks. I'll, I'll leave you in peace now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully the next one will be a bit cheerful. I was going to say more cheerful, but... You can't be more cheerful if there isn't any cheer in the first place. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!